mean? It's I, I'm confused. <laughs> Lucina versus Palu. Three, two, one, Smashville. Go. So Frozen again. Uh, past Zeno. We just have we've had so many winners for Zeno. It's, like, it's it's almost redundant at this point. But one thing we've definitely been happening a lot lately is we've had three Palus in a row winning these Zenos. So let's see if Mystery can try to at least get rid of one of them. Send them to losers before we get like a whole fiesta. Because right now there's two Palus in Winter Semis. Are we about to get a third? Are we about to have three or four Winter Semis be Palutinas? Have we had a Grand be Palu Palu? Yes. I believe it was Jen versus Ray like a couple months ago. Okay. Good call for Mystery. Mystery playing off to a fantastic start. Like I said, that momentum that he was that he carried in last week, phenomenal. And you know he's he's been leveling up his game a bit, playing, feeling a little bit more comfortable with Lucina over playing as Mar that he's been playing since the beginning of the game. Especially when he was like, there's even that time when he was playing Wolf, at the very beginning. Was that Sky's okay, Invitational? Really? Yeah, well, he got invited to Sky's uh, first weekend tournament. Oh, yeah, I think in he Cali. went O2 there, right? Yeah, he went O2. Uh, it was an it invitational. To... Going O2 an invitational, like zero went O2. Didn't mean to call you out, Missy. Yeah. He... yeah, yeah. But uh, but yes, he got eighth out of eight. I mean, eighth is he got top seven, eight. Seven, technically seven. All right, he's already got a uh, two-stock lead on um, Frozen. This isn't look very great for Frozen. And the entire time, like Mystery's just rushing him down. Just he's not even giving Frozen a chance to breathe. Look at him go. He connects that up air. Lucina loves landing up airs because the combos into back air so neat, neat, neat and nicely, like think, like like a bow on a Christmas present. I think Mystery's looking for those uh, first hit of nares. Wow! Into, wow! Eight the double eight, jump. Wait, hold on. That, how long was that game? Yo, play that song. Play that song that Krom should also have, but doesn't for some reason. There you go. Wow. Good stuff, Mystery. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm kind of speechless. Does this very nonchalantly, too. Yeah. I mean, I have seen many a three stock happen in game number one, and the other player wins. Smash can be it, like that. It can be like very that. Very You make it steamrolled in game number one, but you could easily bring that joint back in the next couple of games. Let's see if Mystery finds the capability to be able to do such a the task. I think you're talking about Frozen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I want to see if Mystery can close this out. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, though. No, no. You got it. Okay, Pokemon Stadium <laughs> 2 for uh, game oh. game number 2. Very common stage for Palutena's to go to. They love the big open stage. They love those platforms. You're able to get the teleport cancels as well as carry the opponent with all the neutral airs in the world. There we go. Catches him with the last swing of the neutral air. Try to catch him with the down tilt. But Dolphin Slash is a tricky mistress. You see that sword like go, go cut through the stage and attack the opponent from a distance. You're gonna have to respect it. It's what makes uh, Edge Guard and Lucina so so rough. Uh, that Dolphin Slash sometimes feels invincible. Trying to get that up tilt. He was spaced a little bit too far away to catch that roll onto the stage. 3.02, the best version of a certain game, trying to find his way back down to the ground, gets caught by an up tilt. Wow, surprised that killed. Yeah, I mean, up tilt's strong. That sword has a lot of knockback on it, friend. There we go. Doing a lot of uh, forward tilts so, uh, out of dash, very strong option. Especially if you like, give yourself a little bit of a boost afterwards, cover a lot of distance. Good call out from oh, wow. Frozen. Taking the first stock of the set. Oh, yeah, very true. First stock of the set for him. Good patience. Was that a missed input? I No, I think he was trying to expect, uh, maybe he thought he was going to DI in or go for a double jump to try to catch him with the up air. There we go. Chases afterwards. Good call with the second down tilt. Oh, uh, that that, that, that second time, Miss uh, Frozen purposely didn't go for the tech because he recognized the second he went for the tech in. The tech get up, like Mystery was there with another down tilt. A lot of sorties can do that. A lot of the Fire Emblem characters can chase after you with those down tilts. With Martha, Lucina, Roy, Krom, all four of them, man. And early avoiding it. Goes in with the forward tilt, a great anti-air to catch Frozen's jump sling at 148%. Mystery's gonna be looking for these up tilts. Frozen's Good. been uh, teleporting onto stage a lot. Let's see if uh, Mystery can pick up on that. And Frozen's trying to play the same with these short hop back airs. I mean, it's something that if Mystery goes up and gets a shield on, he has to respect it. That thing is extremely safe and plus on shield. 
we go. Didn't want to commit to the grab just yet. That's one thing I've not been noticing from Frozen. He hasn't been using grab as much, even though Palutena does have a lot of distance on that. As there I say go. that, goes for the spot dodge. As my wishes have been granted, Frozen's the genie I need. And Frozen definitely heard you on that one. At 166%, just going to go for the explosive flint. I don't know how Mystery avoided that. That was a crazy-ass air dodge. So I'm going to run up. Oh, there there you go. Go. Run, run up, up forward. So a very strong option in Lucina's kit. This is looking a lot more manageable for Frozen than the previous game. He's going to avoid that. Try to go for the shield on shield breaker. Mystery has yet to go for that move the entire set. So of course he's busting out on the potential last stock of the set. You see a lot of players go for the like just some zany, wacky stuff on their final stocks. Well, lots on the line. Cop of that dash stack trying to stuff him out. Frozen playing extremely cautiously. I think they're both playing very cautious. The game's slowed down a lot. Remember game one, how fast was that? Yeah. And now we've got this game taking a lot longer. Just runs up and goes for the grab, pushes him off stage yet again. Mystery's been doing that a lot lately. We'll see if Frozen catches on. Just the run up grab. I mean, the thing is, you see it coming over the spot dodge, extremely exploitable. Could easily get the kill afterwards. A lot of these up airs are starting to happen from Mr. E, though. Look at these short hop back airs, turning them around. Trying to give her a haircut with the neutral air. Gets, finally lands a back air, 126% on Frozen. That was a very risky option, but no punish from Mr. E. Momentum. Try to catch him with the up smash. That covered so many options except for the rolls to the right. That's right. Thanks at all. We got the trade coming the out, and Mr. E going to be able to be the owner of GameStop that time around. Gets the benefit of the trade, taking a 2-0 victory, taking out one of the pal three Palutinas that were sitting in winner still, putting them down into losers' finals, losers' brackets, as Mr. E is going to move on to winner semis. But possibly face off yet against a yet another Palutina. I haven't looked at the bracket. I think he's either fighting against Palu or Greninja.